like you lost another one. one of the beautiful blades that they've been making over the past month. Guys, I can honestly tell you it is an amazing blade to see. We have something very unique. I have had a peek at it already, so I'm not doing the unboxing, but I have had a sneak peek. Oh, wow. You guys are in for a treat. Um, yeah, you can see we've got a few other blades behind us. We will be showcasing most of these off to you in the future. So beautiful blade from Finestein over here. And like I said, it is an unboxing video for you. Um, to be honest, I like the box. The box is quite sturdy. And it's a great little showpiece, you know, something unique. Not everybody does a great box like this. Uh, what do we have inside here? Oh, nice. So it does come with a protective cloth that we can keep it in if you're not going to be showcasing it and you just want to keep it aside which is also something very unique um, guys, to be honest, this is actually quite nice though weight is not too bad uh, we'll get into that a little bit later but oh wow oh wow for this time let's make things better <laughs> that's a unique little touch I like this nice little cloth for that oh, that's beautiful so what do you guys think um, I honestly like that a lot as we were looking a little bit earlier we have a beautiful white sheath nice black handle to this uh, fish skin underneath <laughs> oh guys this is beautiful it is really Beautiful. I wish you guys could see this. Oh, man. This is really a work of art. So this is 9260 spring steel with a high mirror finish on the end. And it is so good. I like the fact that they've actually kept all the oil on just to ensure that the blade safety while shipping it out which is very, very, very good. What more can I say about this except that the fact that it is so well, so well made and the total weight of this itself, I'm going to give it about 1.1, 1 1.2 1 kilograms. Is it comfortable to hold? Single-handed? Yes. No problem with that. Double-handed? Yes depending on where you'd like to use your hand. I, for me personally, I like the, the top and then the bottom grip. The two one here is actually unique. It looks like a... It looks like a... I don't know, maybe like a lotus, like a lotus pod almost on the end of it. It's really, really beautiful, guys. I cannot describe how beautiful this really looks. So what we see here is some beautiful black overlay and you can actually see the fish skin with a beautiful emblem the tuba is actually quite nice on this very unique design the finger guard the sheath itself is white very comfortable very pleasing to look at what do you guys think honestly i think it's quite beautiful i like this a lot I'm going to open the blade for you guys so you can actually see what the blade looks like. Oh wow. That is so clean. That is so clean. It's so beautiful. Guys, this blade is so unique. 
honestly and so comfortable in the hand you don't even feel it that's the most amazing thing about it go right so we're about to do a bamboo cut test with the 9260 spring steel katana from pedestine is it that good well we're about to see now uh, what i have here in front of me is about three inch piece of bamboo let's open this up quickly for you guys make sure that the blade is good bamboo that's a real piece of bamboo guys and i'm gonna have fun hopefully we're gonna see if these blades hold up ready right guys this is going to be exciting Try it again. The blade itself didn't take any damage, so that's fine. Uh, let's cut it. Oh. Am I using much force? No. Nope. Uh, blade itself still looks very good. I'm sure I can do another piece off of here. And I don't see any damage whatsoever. So, what I can show you guys, I've been cutting and slicing in about that part of the blade itself. So it's not the sharpest point. The sharpest points of the blades are always going to be at the bottom. So I was using a bit of the dull side. But honestly, still comfortable, still super light in the hand and really well. It slices very good and that is something that we have to be thankful for. Battle ready? Definitely. Okay, stop. Let's go. Right, so the blade itself is still good. We've cut that bamboo up. And now, how sharp is this particular blade? It's still cutting paper. Is it easy? Well, I've put oil on here, so it's not gonna be too easy. But, no. Nope. Guys, that's my mistake, sorry. It's not the blade. That, I can tell. I just want you to see that there's still oil everywhere. We still have oil on the blade. I didn't wipe all the oil off earlier. I haven't wiped any of that oil off, so it's really difficult for us to cut. Let me wipe the oil off and let me try another piece of paper because this oil is making it very difficult for us to cut at the moment. Give me a second. So you guys can see okay fresh page blade has been wiped off it still cuts paper beautifully That was a tear. <laughs> I'm really worried about my fingers going that close. But guys, the blade itself is still amazing to be cutting. Is there any damage to it? Nope. Is it retaining the sharpness? Definitely retaining its sharpness. 
on the paper test. Stop. Right, so many people ask, are the blades bad already? So the paper test was a 50-50. 50% it was good because the blade handled it. Bad because my cutting technique with the blade is bad. What about vegetables? Cabbage is not the easiest thing to cut, but honestly, I don't know. I can slice some coleslaw if you really want it. And I mean, I'm. That is shredding. It's not even cutting, it's shredding it. Guys, that is clean. What does the blade look like? A little bit wet from all the cabbage on the side. But, I mean, it's not doing anything bad. And cabbage is really... Guys, so, if you want to use your blade to cut cabbage, I would not recommend a big one. I'd recommend maybe one of the smaller blades. That would be more comfortable in the hand. Because this is just a little bit of an odd way to be cutting cabbage up. Honestly, what I think of this blade, it is good. Spring steel, it is strong. I'm going to give this another cut and we're going to end today's video off with the final slicing of some cabbage and I wish you guys a great day. If you like what you see, please leave a comment in the section for us and we'll gladly answer it for you.